What up, man? I ain't having this thing in a while. Don't look like nobody on here. So, I'm gonna talk my shit, man. Is Nipsey Hussle's dead a conspiracy theory? Or was he killed by a hater? It's a big question. It's a big question. I want to speak on it, though. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. Um, my heart is heavy right now just thinking about it. You know why? Like, I feel like any man in the world who's a positive person is spreading positive things into the air, helping people, building families. I feel like anybody out there should be able to relate to this. It's a scary situation to know that you can be a good person helping people and walk outside tomorrow. It's totally different out here, man. Every Everybody's feeling sick about this, AJ. Like, even people who don't know who Nipsey Hussle is, you're going to be affected by it when you hear about what he was doing positive, if you are a positive person. Some of you guys do not like hip-hop. You're not hip-hop fans. You're not a fan of that type of music, so you may not know who Nipsey Hussle is. But if you are a hip-hop fan, you're going to know who Nipsey is. You're going to know him from his music. Yes, his, yes, it's been said that he was a gangbanger and he did all the street stuff. It's been said, yes, we know he's been in fights just like so many other people. So my thing is, you have to understand, haters exist as well. People who do not want to see you prosper in life. So people want to call this, this murder a conspiracy theory. It could have been. You know what I'm saying? You hear about government hiring people to kill people the same way they did with Pac and Big and nobody ever found the shooters. Nobody ever found out who did it. So I don't know if y'all I'm looking crazy at this angle. I am live. Me and the beautiful Miss Latruth. Let me get this. Babe, grab my MacBook. I'm about to get this camera set up right, man. Like I said, I am live, so feel free, man. If y'all got any questions, man, ask me, ask me anything. We're going to talk about it. Uh, like you seen, you seen the homie game, man. I don't know if y'all been watching, following Shay Rome and all that, how he's, how he's talk about the situation. And I feel him, man, like if you're a product of L.A., you're going you're gonna to want to hold the whole city responsible. And that's how it should be. Like, the whole city is responsible. Like, somebody had to see something. Somebody had to know something. So for it to be able to happen, I, I totally understand how game... She's really setting up everything. Let me make sure my lens is clean. Yeah, I know the vibes. See, see the vibes? I told you to set up my MacBook. I don't know what you think is that. But. All right, can you guys hear me? This is my thing, man. I feel like every man, woman, should look in the mirror and understand. And before you make a decision to take somebody's life, who you taking away? No matter who they are, no matter how powerful they are. People, before you take somebody's life, you have to think about, you're taking his life. But think about how many other people's lives you're hurting and changing because of it. Think about it. I put myself, I thought deep about this. I'm a man with a family, a wife. I got kids. To know that something like this can happen to me. I have to put myself in those shoes. Men around the world. Whoever's running around with something heavy on their heart and they're evil. And you're thinking about taking somebody's life. Think about this. Put yourself in those shoes. If something happens to me. She's affected. My daughter is in her belly. Something happens to me. She's affected. She's affected. 
all of my children. How many of you grew up without a mother or a father that, that hurt because of that? How many, how many people seen that and thought about everybody that's affected by that one death? You look at it as you walked up, pulled a gun out, shot one person, you took one life. Think about how many other lives are affected after that from that one life that you felt like you took. It can hurt generations of people growing up, not knowing who they people. Every time you take somebody's life, it's that major. What's worth that to go up and just kill somebody? Especially when a person ain't doing no harm to you. That's what I look at with this situation with Nipsey, man. Everything I've been hearing about the guy was positive. All the stuff that he was doing in his community. The same visions that I see about building people, having valuable information that people don't want to listen to because they heard it over here, but they'll probably they'll probably take it because they heard it from their favorite person. Info that can save people's lives. Y'all heard about the Dr. CB thing. I'm not saying that that's why he died, but Dr. CB died too. Curing all these different diseases. Cancer, AIDS, herpes. Anything that you ever heard that couldn't be cured. Dr. CB curing this stuff. With natural stuff. You know how much they profit? You know how much hospitals profit every year? It's information that if it was leaked out, it would cripple a lot of hospitals. A lot of these people making all this crazy, ridiculous money, these doctors and these people making billions of dollars, it would cripple their market. That's why they don't want it. That's why, that's why they don't want it talked about. That's why they don't want the, the message spread. So we need everybody to spread the word. Look up all the information that you can you can find to save your own life. Because it's in the foods and everything, man. Yeah, Dr. CBS. You can go there. $2,000, Yeah, like it's, it's people that's, it's people that's went into the doctor's office and was told, you got 30 days to live. <clears throat> Real facts, look this stuff up, like, I ain't just talking. Look it up, man. Yeah, he had a trial when he went out to see he was going on trial. Yeah. And he told the judge to bring people who was certified. Um, Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest AIDS. so they can hear you. <laughs> Say they ain't gonna that be they had you. AIDS to bring to him so he can cure them. And that's why he ended up getting off of the malpractice. What was the mal? No, I know, yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Exactly. Under his license getting taken. And they brought him people that was actually saying that they had AIDS. And that's the they went to see him. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm pretty sure Magic Johnson has AIDS. Y'all know my Magic Johnson. Played for the exactly. Lakers. He still claiming he got it. I don't know, but I ain't but no sometimes way. stuff is clickbait. So. Yeah, he's held ox. He he's not had it. <laughs> I guarantee he went and hollered at Dr. CB. Come on, man. But some people don't want to tell this shit because they're scared. So let me see. Yeah, and that mean that's the same thing I said, man. Like we don't know what why he was killed. Me personally. I believe it was something from the past. Somebody that see him stepping, he's going, he's stepping his ranks way up now. Like he been moving. Like for y'all that's been following Nipsey, he's been doing this for a long time. He was getting more notoriety for being positive and changing people's lives. He was blowing up bigger and bigger. My opinion is it's a hater, somebody that he had beef with a long time ago, had so many years to try to do something to him, but wanted to wait till he, he see that this man is really changing his life and was being about to be successful more, way more successful than he ever was look how he was moving man he was moving the right he way he had to be somebody that knew his schedule like, yeah how did they know he was gonna be there at that time i'm sure he's not there every day he was moving in the right way man jealousy and hate they had to been watching for a minute jealousy and hate he just lauren london they doing good they doing good just had a he, they doing good? He three? Okay, but still, like, a lot of the stuff that's been coming out about him is more recent. And that's it, man. When they see you doing something positive, people take your life, man. I really think it's hate. Somebody hating. Definitely some hater. <laughs> that's sad, bro. Because when you do what we do, we got a lot of haters. 
we gotta we gotta look over our shoulder every second of the day of the day. Like I, I already be like this. I can't like I, we go out somewhere. She be like, "What the hell is you doing?" I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what's going on around me. You feel me? But nobody nobody's targeting negative people. People who are people who are bringing our communities down. Like Trump. <laughs> they don't target them. Think about it. If it moved, if it was, if it was for the people that was bringing our shit down, Trump wouldn't be. Trump would have been gone. They go for the people who helping people. Simple as that. They scared of progress, whether it's the government or the haters. Like I said, that even the haters, negative. Our jobs are the hardest. Us vocal people. Who spread truth and not afraid to go out here and lead. It's your power here to be. Exactly. When they know what you can do, when they see what you're doing, and you have the influence to do the positive, they coming for you. Whether it's somebody negative in your city, somebody that's just a hater, the government, whoever, they come, they all coming for you the same way. They all move the same. The government and haters all move the same because they bad motherfuckers. That's something people ain't never thought about. The government and haters are the same shit. They only want something from you. They the motherfuckers that's going to kill you when they see you doing something positive. I haven't cried in a long time, man. I'm 35 years old. I didn't cry since my dad died. Dang, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. It's a long time, man. You gotta let it out, man. No matter, no matter, man or female, man. Don't be ashamed to cry and let it out. Sometimes you gotta let it out. It's only because y'all was built up to not cry. Shit. Yeah, we was programmed. We was programmed that we're weak. No, you're not weak. You weak if you don't cry. If you holding that shit in, it, I'm telling you, you'll feel a lot better. I felt the same way. I felt like I was weak for years because I hadn't shed a tear since I was a little kid. I shed tears as a grown wrong man and I felt better when I did it like like why a lot of shit came out and I cried and I felt better so I'm telling you man as a man it's, it's okay to cry you weak if you don't because ain't nobody that hard man ain't nobody that hard it's hard being a black man period why is she half naked Trying to say my wife's skin blends in with her clothes. <laughs> hey, these are clothes. <laughs> That's a clothes. She said, "Why is she have nigga?" Like, I think it's probably the glare too. Ain't no telling. <laughs> Can y'all see us good? Let me, let me see. You want to? Um, you trying to get? I guess you're trying to get that in it. It's better right here. Come on. <laughs> You got me over looking crazy. I want my shit to look like uh, I want I want my shit to look like Vlad TV. Oh yeah, it's super clear right here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Vlad TV over here, y'all. Ah. Almost. Yep. Just gotta fix this angle a little bit. Yeah. Come in. Come in. Catch over some more. Get up. Shit looking like Vlad TV on here, boy. Shout out to Vlad, man. Bring me on Vlad after this, man. But yeah. Come on. You gotta sit back, man. You're not on the screen. We ain't gonna be able to read cut. Thank Come you, on. Curtis. Come on. We're not going to be able to read comments. We're going to sit back here and look fly. This blue looks so good. Come here. Oh, my God. Go ahead and finish saying what you're saying. I'm uh, hungry. No, nah, because I want to speak from a perspective of people taking people's lives and not understanding how deep it is. It's not deep. It's not what you thinking it is. When you have some type of, this is for people out here that want to kill people, period. When you have some type of animosity towards someone, 
that deep. I, nah, I mean, I'm gonna just let those sit. There's too many things popping up on the screen. Um, when you have that much hate in your heart and animosity to kill a person, first of all, think it. Because they don't never think it through. Because if people were thinking it through, I don't. Th I think it would be way less murders and homicides. I really do, because I'm. This is my wife, man. I know this beautiful woman. She has kids that depend on her. Why? Why are people not thinking about that before they pull a the trigger and kill somebody? The hurt that you're gonna do outside of this person was your hate for this person that bad that you hate everybody around them. Everybody that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's tragic when little boys and little girls have to grow up without their mother and their father. Well, that person might not be in the right mental state either. They might, just, they might have had a fucked up life. So they probably just don't give a fuck about nobody else. I just need people, f for everybody, whether you fucked up or you good, to think about it. What if it was you? It's, it's that deep. It should never be no hatred and animosity to somebody to that degree. Like I done been in, I done been in a lot of situations in my life, fights, shoot, all that type of stuff. I don't have that type of hate and animosity for no one that I've crossed paths with. Like nobody I've ever beef with. So I'm trying to figure out who has that much hate and animosity, especially towards the situation that's probably been over ten years. Like, whatever happened with Nipsey, it's probably something that happened. Probably was with somebody that was over years ago. You never know. Like, situations happen. Like, the BET Awards or whatever it was. He smacked somebody. This person could have been that angry and, and had built up hate. Too. His son was there. Yeah. So, like, man, that, that person could have had some type of hate, animosity, and built just so built up that drove him to that. How is it? Whoever it is. Any hate in the world. Whoever it is, how is it ever that like that deep? You and you, it's self defense. Some some killings are different. Obviously, if you are an innocent man and somebody walking up on you and trying to take your life and you end up taking his, obviously you wasn't doing nothing wrong. You was protecting yourself. It's certain murders that I'm not talking about because obviously you did that in self defense. But when a person has so much time to think about it, you got so much time to think about it before you do it. He is got it shot that six deep? times, so that means six times they man. were standing there a hot minute. Six times that was a that, that was, was a intention, a, to, intention kill. to kill. Exactly, that was that was deeper than hate, and that's for anybody who died in that type of situation. I'm gonna try to read some more y'all comments. We at Myrtle Beach. I need to go get something to eat. Yeah, six hits. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel you on that too. Where was his security? But look, at the same time, like when y'all say, where is his security? He at work. But he's at work. He in the city at work. Like he probably, he been going to work every day. So people saying, where is the security? Certain situations, we don't feel like I'm the same way. I be at a lot of places sometimes and, and I'm, I don't have security. So it's like, when you think about that, it's like a lot of people don't walk around with security, unless you Jay-Z, Beyonce, most people are not walking around. You're not even at that status that you got security around you at all times. I've seen a lot of celebrities by themselves without people with them. So it's the, it's a certain caliber of person. So when people, that's the first thing people ask where was the security? He probably didn't have security like that. Like, and when you from the hood, like we are, you 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 have that mentality that you feel like you good. You know what I'm saying? You don't you ain't thinking I'm traveling with a bunch of big people or whatever with me to protect me at this moment. Because when you come from the hood, you don't think like that. It's just not your process of thought. Like, you don't sit there. I, I've never seen nobody from the hood be like, "Yo, what the security?" When you when you doing something like at a, at a job, like you don't expect that. Of course, if it's a war zone, you're going to make sure you will. Like, of course, a certain type of clubs and stuff, them type of atmosphere, you're going to make sure because you know that type of shit come with that. But you at work.
So the people asking the question of why he didn't have security, he was at work. That's, that's how I see it. That's his, that's his business. So, like, it's kind of crazy. And he that, opened this store in the middle of the hood to get them jobs. So. Yeah, so, like, it's crazy to me that somebody can walk up in certain, certain situations. Other stores over there too. Certain situations. Somebody seen something. Exactly. You know somebody seen something. Because it's a whole plaza. It's not like it's just it's a store to it. that bad. Like, I know people talk about and not when you just saving that person's life, you saving everybody's life that's attached to his life. That depends on his life. You see what I'm saying? That's you're not a snitch for telling that. If you know somebody about to get hit, why not? Save their life. That's I don't I don't look at that situation as a snitch. Snitching is totally something different. That's not it. Like you're saving a life. That's not how is that snitching? How? One person's mistake is not that deep. To affect the whole, like, come to a common ground. Figure out ways of settling shit without killing people. Stop letting hatred be like, I, I swear, a lot of people die. A lot of people kill people just because they, they hateful. Because something ain't going right in their life. And they jealous. Like, when they see people shining, that shit crazy. This happens even on a lower scale. This happens in a neighborhood everywhere in every city.